Hello, my dears. I hope you all are doing well. Did you know that I recently reached over 3,000 subscribers here on YouTube? Can you believe it? I think this is cause for celebration. So on that note, I'm gonna take the day off. It's time for another episode of Bake Me Up Buttercup, the baking show with a furry twist. And now, here is the host of our show, the one and only Buttercup herself. Welcome, my dears! On today's episode, I will be teaching you how to make a delicious vanilla cake. Excellent for all sorts of celebrations. This cake is perfect to present to someone on a special occasion. I know I would certainly be delighted if I were surprised with such a cake. Now, I will give you a moment to collect all your necessary ingredients. For this recipe, you will need flour, baking powder, salt, sugar, butter, cooking oil, eggs, milk, and vanilla. Are you all ready? All right, let's get started then. Our first step will be to cream the butter and sugar together. In a large mixing bowl, Combine three quarters cup of butter, and one and one half cup of sugar. Using an electric mixer, mix these ingredients together until they become light in color and very fluffy. This will take a few minutes. Once you have finished doing that, you will add in one quarter cup of cooking oil, two teaspoons of vanilla, and mix together well. Next up, you will need four eggs. Add in the eggs one at a time, mixing until well combined between each one. Be sure to scrape the sides of the bowl down between each addition to make sure everything is incorporated. Don't be tempted to lick that batter. It has raw eggs in it. All right, now set that bowl aside while we work on our dry ingredients. In a separate bowl, combine two and one quarter cups of sifted flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, and one half teaspoon of salt. Now, whisk these all together. Don't you think baking is just so fun? It's time to bring everything together. Measure out one cup of milk. We are going to alternate 
adding our dry ingredients and milk into the bowl with our wet ingredients, a little bit at a time. Between each addition, we will mix together gently until just incorporated. Do you know why it's important not to overmix your batter once the flour is added? Flour contains gluten, which when mixed with liquid ingredients, provides structure in your baked good. However, when you mix your batter for too long, it can cause excess gluten formation, which can make your baked good become dense and tough. Not good when we are trying to make a moist and fluffy cake. Have you finished mixing your batter? All right, now it's time to bake your cake. You will need two eight inch round cake pans. Make sure they are well greased and lined with parchment paper to keep your cakes from sticking. Pour your batter equally into each pan, filling no more than three quarters of the way full. Once finished, bake your cakes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 to 30 minutes, or until a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean. While we are waiting on our cake to cool, let's whip up some delicious buttercream icing. For this, we will need butter, shortening, powdered sugar, heavy whipping cream, vanilla, and salt. Begin by placing one half cup of butter and one cup of shortening into a large mixing bowl and creaming together using an electric mixer at medium high speed for about five minutes. Next, we will add four cups of sifted powdered sugar, one cup at a time, mixing well in between each addition. Do be careful not to get powdered sugar all over the place. Once all your powdered sugar is mixed in, add in one teaspoon of vanilla, and one quarter teaspoon of salt. At this point, your icing is probably looking a little thick. Let's thin it out by adding some heavy whipping cream. Start by adding two tablespoons of cream and mix on a medium high speed for three to five minutes. If your icing still seems a bit thick, you can add an additional tablespoon of cream and repeat the process. And if it is a bit thin, just add in some more powdered sugar until you are happy with the consistency. Wasn't that a quick and easy icing recipe? You can use a bit of food coloring to color your icing in any way you please. Now it's time to put your cake together and decorate it. Oh, what fun! If you have one, a cake turner can be very helpful for decorating your cake. Place your first cake layer on the turner. Apply a nice layer of buttercream to the top and smooth that out so it is even. Next, you will place your second layer on top. Apply your buttercream to the sides and top of your cake Again, carefully smoothing everything out to give it a nice even look. Now your cake is all covered, but it probably looks a bit plain, yes? 
here is where you get to be creative and decorate the cake to your liking. Don't be afraid to play around with different piping tips and try out fun techniques. It's your cake, and no matter what it looks like in the end, it will still be delicious. So have fun and show off that creative side. All finished decorating? How wonderful! Your cake is complete! Now, all you have to do is find some very special friends to share it with. Thanks for following along on this episode of Bake Me Up Buttercup. Until next time, mwah! Oh, I had such a lovely day off. I should do that more often. Oh, would you look at this? I wonder who left this darling cake here. Look, there seems to be a note next to it. Dear Buttercup, thank you so much for all that you do and for bringing so much fun and tasty treats into the world. I may not be as good at baking as you are, but I hope you enjoy this special celebration cake. Much love, Lelia Spaniel. My goodness gracious, what a sweet thing to do. I think we ought to give this a try right now, don't you think? delicious. This cake is perfectly moist and tender and that buttercream icing is so fluffy and sweet. In fact, it certainly tastes like my very own recipe for vanilla cake. I wonder. Thank you everyone for celebrating with me today. Whether you have been following my bakes from the beginning or are a newcomer to my channel, I truly appreciate each and every one of you more than I could possibly say. Being able to share my passion for baking with all of you is such a dream come true. And I hope to continue for many more years to come. Much love to all of you. Until next time. Mwah! <laughs>